All right, welcome. So I think one of the issues people have when they're first starting out with Godot um, is the smoothness of movement and, and the camera isn't, um, isn't great right out of the box. This is, I think, particularly noticeable if you have a high refresh rate monitor, so which a lot of people I think are starting to have, where you have, uh, for instance, the one I'm using right now is 144 hertz. Um, and particularly if you've um, magnified your project, so meaning this is a 16 by 16 sprite and I've uh, come here to project project settings in the window and I've, um, I'm starting out with a mode of 320 by 180 and then I'm stretching it out to 1920 by 1080. Um, and it seems to not matter whether you're using canvas items, which is a little bit less performant or, or just viewport stretching, both seem to have the same sort of smoothness issue. Um, I'm gonna show you how to use Lawn Jelly's plugin to sort of address this. It doesn't perfectly fix it, but it does make things a lot better. Um, if you want, I'm gonna walk through the project to start with, but I'll leave a chapter to skip ahead if you just wanna see the, um, the end result. Um, and then maybe at the very end, we'll sort of just talk about how this is working under the hood. But, um, but to start out with, um, let us just come and see the issue and some ways of addressing it. So, if we're jumping here, at least for me, and again, YouTube is recording at 60 frames per second, that's the max, um, but this monitor is going at 144, so some of the stuff I'm seeing you might not be seeing, but basically when I'm jumping in the default settings, these platforms are not moving particularly uh, smoothly. So one way we can address that is by enabling the camera smoothing. So just to show you the project, I have this 2D world, um, I've got a tile map which is making all these platforms, I have a player with just the default character, um, character body 2D, it's got a sprite attached to it, and it's got a camera that's following it around. Um, so if we come here to the camera and we uh, click on position smoothing and enable it and just leave it at the default 5, you can see right away the platforms, their movement is a lot nicer because basically the camera is slowly moving over that using the process function rather than the physics process to um, to smooth out that movement. And it looks it looks a lot better. Now, of course, you can make that go a little bit faster. For instance, let's, uh, let's hit stop and make it 15 pixels per second and make sure you hit enter, otherwise it might not register. Um, and now, now it's going, uh, now it's chasing the player a lot faster, but still you get a nice movement. Now, of course, if you go too far, for instance, let's say I'm, you know, I chase it at 100 pixels per second and enter, you'll be right back to essentially just immediately the camera moves to where the physics process is and, um, and the camera is not looking, looking that great. So you do have to play with that number and get a number that looks good to you. Um, but like for instance, 15 seems to be the right amount of responsiveness and, and smoothing. The problem though is, and I'm not sure how well it's gonna show up, is that now I've introduced terrible character jittering. So if I'm moving the sprite, everything else is now moving nice and smoothly, but, this, but the character is jittering terribly. You just sort of see him vibrating back and forth and it's awful looking. Um, so the quick fix to that, if you don't wanna deal with any plugins or anything, is to just come to either project, project settings, search for, you can search for FPS, um, and under application run, make sure you might have to have advanced settings and you can set the max FPS to 60. Um, just to make my life easier, I'm gonna do that with code um, by setting the engine max FPS um, on my ready in my world script to uh, 60 here. And now when I hit play, um, my camera is chasing the player and the jitter is gone, but I'm kind of back to the initial problem where when I jump, these platforms are ghosting a lot. They're not looking great, and that's because I've sort of limited the FPS. Even though my monitor can handle 144 hertz, this, these are refreshing only back at 60. So this is where Lawn Jelly's plugin comes in and, and helps us fix um, both problems. So we've got the nice camera smoothing, but we're stuck back to uh, 60 FPS. So if I'm gonna disable that to start with, just make sure, so now we're back to a nice, um, a nice uh, smooth camera movement, but you can see that jitter gets terrible, and the faster the character moves, the worse the jitter is. So let us, let us come here and fix that. So search for, just on Google, Lawn Jelly's Smoothing. Uh, and it'll bring you up to his GitHub. 
Um, just make sure that the branch you are on is 4.x, otherwise um, you're going to get the Godot 3 and it's not going to work. Um, I made that mistake and uh, and I don't recommend you do. So hit uh, code and we'll just download the zip and we'll just open up the zip file and we'll click in the smoothing and then we'll just grab this add-ons plugin and move it here and I'll just replace this file since I've already done this. Um, and now we will come back to our project. Let's get this out of our way. Get you out of the way. Um, and we will drag in this plugin. And then we will come to um, project, project settings, and we will come over to the plugins directory. And here you should see smoothing version 1.21 at the time of this video. And we will click enable, and then we will hit close. And now we'll get two new nodes. Um, so if I come under player and hit control A to add a node, um, and you search for smooth, you'll see these two nodes. One is for 3D and one is for 2D. So um, since we're doing a 2D project, I will come here and click Smoothing 2D and I'll hit Create. Now, you'd think, okay, well maybe, so, so the way it works is you put the smoothing node in the thing you want to smooth and then you put the visual thing inside the smoothing. I'll show you what I mean by that. Um, now you'd kind of want to say, oh, well what if I just move the camera there, but that is going to be the wrong answer. Um, the jittering will get uh, truly terrible. Um, I don't know if you can see it, but it's it's pretty bad. Um, and that is because, oh well, that's partly because I have the smoothing enabled. So if I hit play, I mean, it is really bad. So that is not the right answer. Um, however, what will be the right answer is, if we just come back here to player, um, if we move the sprite under the smoothing node, now um, it will target the player. So the player is the target. Um, now, right now, um, there's nothing under assign. You can specifically assign it to player. But if sort of looking through the code, it looks like if you don't set the target, it'll just be the parent. And so since the parent is the player, um, that's the thing we're going to want to smooth. And then we're going to make the sprite a child of the smoothing node. And essentially what's going to happen is the sprite is now, instead of moving along with the player with the physics process, it is now going to move along, um, is now going to move along chasing the player with the um, regular process. And remember, the physics process is ticking away at 60 frames per second, regardless of my monitor, but the... Um, but the process is occurring at whatever my monitor's refresh rate is, which is 144 hertz. So now when I hit play, um, oop, nope, <laughs> still got a problem. And that is because my camera is not being smooth. So let us fix that. Uh, so position smoothing 15, and if I hit play, now it looks great. Um, again, since it's recording it um, at 50, uh, sorry, at 60 FPS, I'm not sure how you, um, if you can see it, but right now, now the um, the um, the sprites are moving really nicely, the background, and my character is also no longer jittering terribly. But what is jittering, and you can kind of see, is the um, is the visual representation of the uh, collider that is. Um, jittering really terribly, but um, everything else is smooth. So that's how you use his plugin to um, to make things smoother. You might have to do that for um, enemy sprites or anything else that's moving independently of the camera, um, but um, but just add the smoothing node and then add the sprite as a child. And assuming you don't have a complex tree structure, um, it will grab the parent. Now, of course, like I said, if if you're you know sort of deep down, your sprite is like really buried. Um, you might have to s assign the target, and then you can just assign it to um, the player or whatever the actual thing is that's moving, um, and then put the sprite underneath that. All right, um, so that's it. Um, you're free to leave, <laughs> um, but if you're just kind of interested um, to see how the smoothing works, um, uh, just briefly, uh, for instance, the camera smoothing, uh, let's move the camera out. Let's just turn off smoothing for a second, and let's move the camera outside of the player into the world. So um, right now, uh, obviously the camera's not moving anywhere, but if we wanted to smoothly chase the player um, like we were doing with the, with the smoothing, you can do that. And that's basically just using a lerp 
Um, so let's see, here's under collision. No, I'm sorry. Uh, oh, wait, where's our camera? Sorry. So our camera had that um, position smoothing, but we can do that manually if you want to or control it um, more to your liking. All I've done here is in the world script, so I've made this world script, I've grabbed the camera, the player, and then um, I'll show you the outside sprite in a second. But, um, but really what I'm just gonna do is take the camera and set its global position, and I'm gonna lerp it, and I'm gonna lerp it between where it used to be and where the player position is at, at any given moment. And that player position, remember, is getting updated in the physics process. And you should be using the physics process to control your movement. But the problem with that is, of course, if you have a high refresh rate monitor, the camera, if you just make it a child, is immediately jumping. But in this case, what we're doing is in the process function, even though the player is ticking away at 60 and this one's going faster, in those frames that, um, that the camera does not match up where the player is, we're going to go chase down the player um, smoothly in those missing frames. Um, and so I'll just um, if I'll just get rid of any multiplication. We'll just use delta, which is a very small value, and we'll just move lerp between wherever we are now and wherever the player is going to be. Uh, and so I'll just show you. So now, even though our camera didn't used to move, now you can see it's starting to pan and chase the player. Of course, it's going really slowly because our delta value is very small, and and so you're slowly going to update the global position by that delta number. But we can of course multiply that um, to make things happen faster. Uh, and so now you can see it's it's chasing it and it's sort of smoothly doing it. But you can see there's that jitter, um, that jitter is back. And if we didn't have the sprite under the smoothing node, so I'll just do that, you can see this thing is jittering terribly. Um, and again, I'm not sure if YouTube is gonna pick it up at 60 frames per second, but for at least for me, this looks absolutely awful. Um, so how can we solve that problem ourselves without using um, the smoothing plugin? I will show you. So I'll just delete the smoothing plugin. But basically, I think what's happening um, that Lon Jelly's thing is doing is basically the same thing we're doing with the camera we're doing with the sprite. Um, so we're essentially moving the sprite outside of the physics and uh, physics process and then smoothly lerping it to wherever our player really is. So let me just show you that. So uh, we'll come here and we'll take our sprite and I'm gonna, and I just duplicated it to, to this outside sprite um, just, just to show you that process. So I have my sprite here, I'm gonna duplicate it, Control D, uh, and I'm gonna move it outside uh, into the world. So now it is independent and we'll call it outside sprite. And now if I hide this one and leave this one and I hit play, you can see, you know, my character is there, but it, you know, obviously the sprite is hidden. So, and that one's just out in space, but I can have it chase down my, um, I can have it chase down my sprite. So as you can see here, you'll see it's, um, you'll see my physics processes or the, uh, the collider is jittering just like the other one was, but let us have that um, outside sprite chase it down. So I've got this outside sprite node and I already set it up once, so um, I already have my on ready variable. Uh, and now, just like I did with the camera that's that's lerping, um, I can do the same with the outside sprite's global position. So the outside sprite's global position, I'm gonna lerp it between wherever it is now and then wherever the player is, um, and then multiply by delta. Now, of course, if we don't give it enough delta, you will see, hey, um, it, my player is moving, but the sprite is sort of chasing after it quite slowly because um, it's going to lerp to that position. Um, so that's not great. Obviously, if if you didn't have the collider here, you would have you would wonder why your player is moving so so awfully. But we can of course speed that up. So let's multiply the delta by I don't know. Let's say by fifty, and now it's moving a lot closer with in proximity to where my character is actually is. Um, and as you can see, the jitter, like the um, the underlying collider is jittering badly, but but my sprite is not because it's following the process. Um, it's 
getting its position based on the process function, which is moving it at a, at a much faster clip. So now I've got really nice smooth movement um, for, my, for my pixel game. Um, but again, I think his plugin is way better than this code and way, um, way simpler to use. So, so obviously that is the thing I would recommend you using. Um, anyways, I hope that helped. Um, hope that helps somebody get a little bit smoother movement. Um, again, it's not perfect. It would, you'd hope that things would um, be a little bit simpler straight out of the box, but, um, but this should help. Um, get your thing smoother, particularly if you have a high refresh rate monitor. And of course, the simple fix, if you just don't want to bother with any of this, is just set your engine's max FPS to 60, um, and either that, either with that or the project settings, um, and um, make sure that that's, of course, equal to this, equal to the physics process tick, which is by default is 62. Um, and that will also at least eliminate jitter, although you won't get the nice smooth movement that you might see with a higher refresh rate monitor. All right, uh, I think that's enough of that. Let me just hit OBS and stop.